Right. Okay, so subtracting fractions using a clock is very similar to adding fractions. Okay? So, we're going to start with our example problem. Two-thirds minus one-half equals. Step one, draw a clock. Step one's pretty simple. Step two. Draw your biggest fraction first. Which fraction is bigger, two thirds or one half? Kayla. Yes. Good job. So just like with adding, I put my X at the top. I'm drawing my line all the way to two thirds and labeling it. We know that two-thirds of a clock goes to the eighth. We've been practicing that. If you forget, where can you look? In your notes. Good job. Okay, step three. Draw the smaller fraction from the bigger. Count backwards. Let's write that down, and then I'll show you what that means. Underline bigger. Count backwards. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, so it says from the bigger. It's subtraction. So instead of starting at the top, I'm starting where I ended. I'm going to do, I'll do this a different color so you can really see. I'm going to do my X right by this X. Can you guys see that? One half is how many minutes? Tyler. 30 minutes. So I'm going to count backwards until I stop at 30. So I want to hear you guys counting for me. I'm going to put my X where I stopped and label my one half. And I'm ready for step four. Step four. Whatever is left is your answer, which is called the, raise your hand, what's the answer in a subtraction problem? Eric? The difference? Yes, the difference. Nice job. Let's write that down.
So, I'm looking back to see what is left. I'm going to take another color to show you guys. Do you see this purple part with no red? I didn't count backwards over it. This right here is what's left. What fraction of the clock is that? That's the answer. Yes. So we can either say 2 twelfths or if you reduce, you get what, Logan? Or 1 sixth. And finally, what do I need to do? Evan. Start with your answer? Yes. 